Welcome to Jesus and Mary Inseparable. Just wish, I would just like to wish everybody a happy Christmas. It's Christmas time. But let us all remember what the meaning of Christmas is. Let us analyze the word Christmas. The word Christmas is derived from the two words Christ Mass. Jesus Christ and the Holy Mass. The Mass is the new covenant the new covenant which is jesus's body and blood which we can eat and drink at every holy mass and the word christ mass is used to celebrate the birth of jesus The birth of Jesus brought Jesus to the world. And Jesus came to us, to everybody, at his birth. Just a side note. Remember that Jesus was with Mary nine months in his womb, in her womb, sorry. Jesus was in Mary's womb for nine months before he showed himself to the rest of the world. Jesus and Mary were together alone for that time. And then Jesus was born and Jesus came to the whole world. and showed himself to the whole world. And the same thing happens at every Mass. Jesus comes to, to us there present at every Holy Mass, at every Catholic Mass. At every Catholic Mass, Jesus is truly present in the in what seems to be bread and wine, but he's just hiding in the bread and wine. Truly he is there in the bread and wine. The bread and wine is transformed as soon as the priest says those precious words. The bread and wine is transubstantiated from bread and wine into Jesus' body and blood. And how sweet it is to taste the Lord. This is the faith that the apostles had. The apostles, the twelve apostles, the followers of Jesus. They had this faith. They had the faith, the faith. The one true faith that Jesus gave to them, taught them gave them the experience at the last supper jesus turned to the bread and wine into his own body and blood saying take this this is my body take it and eat it and then taking the chalice he said take this and drink it this is my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. And so the apostles repeated that, what Jesus taught them. Jesus told them to do that 
after he'd gone, and they did do that after he went, and they did it every, at least every Lord's Day, which was Sunday, but tradition says they also did it every day, and in one of the epistles, I think it's St. Paul who says, if you eat and drink of the Lord unworthily, you eat and drink judgment on yourself, i.e. condemnation on yourself. So they truly believed it was the body and blood of Jesus when they came to eat the bread and wine, which of course was not bread and wine, it was Jesus' blood and blood. They truly believed that and they passed on that faith and the people they passed on to, they passed on to the people after them and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and that was the Christian way, and still is the Christian way, the new and everlasting covenant. So you could say, we have Christmas every day in a way, because Jesus comes to us every day at, at every Holy Mass. Of course, it's true, God is everywhere, and because Jesus is God, we could say Jesus is everywhere too. But if we want to belong to the new and everlasting covenant, i.e. be God's children, God's chosen people, then we have to accept the Christian dogma that the bread and wine is transformed into Jesus' body and blood. And the Christians who deny this, they are not really Christians because they have give up, they have given up on the new and everlasting covenant which Jesus established, particularly Protestants. Protestants are the main group of people who call themselves Christians but deny that Jesus' body and blood is truly present in in the Mass. And the Protestant religion started in the 1500s, 1500 AD. And before that, every Christian believed that the body and blood of Jesus was present in the Eucharist, generally speaking. Of course, you always get people who slide away from the faith and unfortunately in the year 1500 there was a whole group of people who banded together to attack the teaching, the Christian teaching that Jesus' body and blood is truly present in the Mass which is an attack on God's covenant with mankind that was accepted that was generally accepted for hundreds and hundreds of years until the Protestant Revolution, which was disastrous for the Christian faith. And they still call themselves Christian, even though they deny the Christian dogma. Of course, they've been baptized, so. It's quite, they have been initiated into the Christian church, if their baptism was valid, because you do need certain things to make a baptism valid. For example, the priest has to say the correct words. He cannot use different words, like, there is a Christian, uh, there is a group who call themselves Christian and they use the wrong words for baptism, 
which makes the baptism invalid. The priest has to say, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. If, if someone says, I baptize you in the name of the Holy Trinity, that's not acceptable. So let us be humble and search deep down into the meaning of what it means to be a Christian. To be a Christian, we have to be a true follower of Christ. And Christ changed the bread and wine into his own body and blood and told us that is the new and everlasting covenant. And his followers accepted that, even to this very day, that the bread and wine is changed into the body and blood of Jesus. Now the apostles, they were priests, bishops even. And only bishops and priests can turn the bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus. So it's very necessary to have an institution where we have a hierarchy of bishops, priests, and then laity. So if we are humble, we will find the truth and just remember that it is Mary who brought Jesus into this world. Jesus came into the world through Mary. Jesus comes to us through Mary. So we should go to Mary, who gives us the Son. Mary is the mother of Jesus, the mother of God, and therefore the mother of mankind. If we want to know Jesus, if we want to know the truth, Jesus is the truth, remember. If we want to know Jesus, we should go to the mother who gave birth to Jesus. She is our mother. We can call Jesus our brother because we have Mary as our mother. Mary gave birth to Jesus. On Christmas Day, don't let people persuade you into thinking that Christmas Day is not the true day of Christ's birth. There will always be naysayers, but there's lots of evidence to show that Jesus was born on Christmas Day towards the end of December. And Mary it was who gave birth to Jesus. And we cannot go to heaven unless we are born again, born of the water and of the Spirit. The water signifies the fleshly slide fleshly side and the spirit obviously is the spirit side and Mary and the Holy Spirit produced Jesus the water has to re represent Mary and the spirit is the Holy Spirit 
And if we are born of Mary and the Holy Spirit, we are like Jesus, who was also born of Mary and the Holy Spirit. This is what it means to be born again, to be born of Mary, our mother, to accept her as our mother. If you can accept Mary as your mother, God accepts you. On the other hand, if you do not accept Mary as your mother, you are not you are not accepted by God. Hopefully people will accept Mary before they die. So let us accept Mary now because who knows what will happen tomorrow. Maybe we will not wake up from our sleep. Maybe something, some terrible disaster will happen while we're asleep. Who knows? Always better to come to the faith, the Catholic faith, the faith in Jesus and Mary. Now, before it's too late, never put off what you can do today for tomorrow. So, I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Remember Jesus and Mary and Joseph in the stable in Bethlehem. And the three wise men bearing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And the shepherds who were told by the angel that Christ the Saviour was born. And they came and adored. And Mary, seeing all these things, treasured them and pondered them in her heart. Let us ponder this wonderful, magnificent day called Christmas, where Christ came to the world. And just remember, you can have Christ come to you every day if you go to the Holy Mass. You do, not, you do not even have to receive Holy Communion. You can just be present at the Holy Mass and you will receive immense graces from the hearts of Jesus and Mary, the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, two hearts inseparably bound forever and ever. Amen. This is Jesus and Mary signing off. Happy Christmas. Be good. May the love of Jesus and Mary be with us always in these hard times. Amen.